tropical world. How come we can't colonize anything at all? Even though it really looks like we should be able to. Well, if you're going to go that way, you might as well go here first. So there's 18 other civilizations somewhere on this map. But I'm actually not too sure if that includes the Fallen Empires. So there might be like 20, I think, maximum. Oh, so what's this? The Void Sea Nebula. Why do we know that this exists? I'm really not too, too sure. So apparently, this is this actually the fastest speed? Construction. It's actually not that many speeds. You can't go to speed 5, it goes up to like speed 3, I guess. So you are done. I think everything in this, that's mined out, right? Yeah, so there's two left here. So, constructor ship, how about you go over here, you get some more research. We have a decent amount of money. We do need more minerals, though. That is... Definitely where we're lacking at the moment. None of our things actually here make minerals, except for this. Um, yeah, actually, let's clear that. Especially since we have the governor that makes things a lot cheaper, so it probably makes sense to do it. And we have a lot of money right now, so I'm not too sure what to actually spend it on. Oh, we produce 11 and consume, um... Okay, apparently we're making too much food, so I kind of, uh... Made a little bit of a mistake there. So, but instead of that, you just go here. And then I build a, uh, not a monument. Or a farm. Yeah, build a mining network. That seems like a good thing. Complete. I know the building's inactive. You don't need to tell me, game. But right now, nothing else is actually under our control. So what would be good? I think going here next... ...is probably the, the smartest thing. And are any of you colonized worlds? Or colonizable worlds? Well, we haven't actually surveyed like any of them yet, so we don't know. We discovered an artifact, uh, ancient alien civilization, on TF-B-076. Civilization is some sort of confederation, okay. New sit rep. Is that good? Oh, this area has so much stuff in it. Gas giants. This should be where we're expanding towards. Um... We have a new situation, which is in here, right? First League Artifacts Recovered, 0 to 6. So I'm, I'm sure at some point we'll get them. That anomaly might be one, I'm not too sure. And yeah, you know what guys? Ignore that. Go here. Because that's a great star and I want that star in my empire. Contact reports, the, uh, the remnants. Intelligent life, Tonsa, pointed absence. Pause the game, thank you. Uh, news net post on Kither. Uh, people of Anthony Wami and Democratic uh, Republic are apparently finding some humor in the fact that the lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record. Okay. I don't know what's so very funny about that, but sure, guys. Yeah, this star is basically trash. Have you found anything good here? Uh, basically nothing, because it's almost completely empty. And once we have, um... I want to zoom in here. Why can't I just build an outpost? Because I don't... Oh, because I'm missing two. Now, build a star base outpost all the way out there. And once again, I'm not too sure what that... I, I can swear that counts for something, but I'm not too sure what. Potentially habitable. Ooh. Recon pass completed. So this is basically... It's basically just not... An, Inhabitable at all, which kind of sucks. Uh, leaders getting a level. Fantastic. Uh, do we actually... 40% failure risk? Yeah, let's try it. But I know that does pause something. Does it not? I could have sworn finding anomaly paused it to do stuff, but maybe not. Okay, apparently the star system's also trash. Why is every star system here just bad? Why are they all just not good? I mean, I know the military doesn't need to be here, but... I would like this colony ship. Maybe that's what we should focus on next. Ah, pause the game. How about a world survey? 
No, uh, no. Music well, rep. yeah. Let's, let's let's colonize that. Digital rep reproductions of the monoliths widely available in the Empire. It's uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Uh, carved in some uh, minerals not native to the planet. I'm assuming this will actually, this will probably do something more in the future. Like 120 science points. Let's go with they are beautiful because I'm not too sure whether it actually will lead us. Okay, so three pops have gained the Xenophile ethic. I mean, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Fantastic. Got some plus 5% research speed. Colony development speed plus 50%. I think we already have like 100%, don't we? AI control colony ships. Assist research. Fusion reactor, which allows us to do stuff. But actually, we don't pause the game. Biolab. What does Biolab give us? Produces some science. Growth speed plus 10%. Defense or uh, we don't need the defense right now. It's really not um useful. So how about we go for the biolab? And we go for the colony. Well, that's a very long time. But this one also doesn't really seem very useful to me. So let's go for it. 36 months actually is not too long. It's only three years. And I don't know how long it takes to actually build. Like the science ship takes, I think, a year. So. And we still have to wait for all that stuff to even be ready. Hey, once again, uh, keep surveying. You're up there. And are you are almost done your stuff? Construction complete. There we go. So we got that done. This is now controlled also by our glorious Democratic Republic. But I don't... Is there not a cap for how much outposts you can have? I mean, I guess not. But I was almost 100% certain that there was. Maybe I'm just wrong. And there's so many nice uh, resources here as well. Even though... Actually, which, which planet is it that's colonizable? It's this one, right? No, it's 0% as well. The max happiness of population is 0. Because here, the habitability is 100%. Okay. So I guess just ignore the colonial dream for now. Build some mining stations and stuff. So once you're done that, then do this, then do that. Apparently mining research station has 90 instead of the uh, 67 it takes to build a mining station. And then do that. There we go. So you spend basically all of our money. We're going to upgrade this a lot. 20% failure rate is basically probably not going to happen at all, so. System reconnaissance completed. Fantastic. And I guess we'll just kind of, once again, just keep kind of exploring. Before you see, I see like a decent amount of the, um, of the, of the relatively close area by us. So that's always nice. Smuggler asteroid. New sit rep. How does that even make sense? I mean, I guess it had to be alien or something, right? Science is present. Science skill is three or higher. Has one science ship in orbit. In the first league. Okay, so when somebody's level three, we can go research that more and get uh, get started on that quest a bit. The military fleet just kind of hanging around. It's not really doing much, is it? No, I don't care about the shipyard. That's fine. Anomaly found. And we're still actually making food too. But I think every every pop I think takes three food to eat. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they all take one. So really, once again, he's not useful there. So throw him here. Uh, build 
the science -y building, the basic science lab, because I think we have to do that before we can also get the bio lab on top of it or whatever one it is. Capital buildings now produce one extra unity. Star base influence costs reduced by 10%. New colony start with the one extra pop. Let's go with colonization fervor. Get some more unity, which will allow us to kind of speed all that stuff along fast. Recon pass completed. We also got some nice uh, research here. So this is level four. You're still level two. Did somebody else upgrade to level three yet? Now you're still both two, so not super good. At least not good enough to try to get this uh, level four anomaly going. But I would still like to get the um, abandoned amusement park. Ah, let's get some nice science points out of it. Fantastic. But I would still like to have um, what are we spending our money on? Level one, ten percent failure risk. Just research it. The building cost minus fifteen percent is pretty good. How long until you're actually done? One point three five a month. I'm assuming food needed. Maybe it would help us. I'm not too sure. Oh, we just got a free technology. Science Ion thrusters. Reports a new breakthrough. Well, that's nice. Yeah, we we, we don't need to research anything more. Where actually is the ship designer? Expansion planner. Well, zero percent. This one actually has high gravity as well. It's actually is that so it's like negative five percent. That doesn't seem very good. You can only colonize planets with inside our own borders, huh? So okay, so now you're not now you need to build an outpost station to even colonize. Okay, I did not know that. Is colonizable? Nothing. Well, that's good. Focusing on this expansion maybe was not the smartest thing to do. I'm assuming I need to get some text that will make um, construction complete. That'll make habitability better. Yeah, so we're still waiting on this to be done. Yeah, construction completes. Let's get rid of abilities and uh, notifications. They're not really helping me out. System reconnaissance completed. Oh, these these star systems are basically completely empty. Uh, are you done? No, you're doing the surveying, right? Recon pass completed. There we go. Will you survey this? I'm surprised I actually haven't run into any aliens with 18 civilizations. I thought I would have maybe ran into somebody, but I guess not. Oh, we've, we've done a mandate. Awesome, I didn't even know I was doing that. What other mandates do we have? I'm not, don't remember how to actually see them. Election overview. Division report success. There we go. So Corvette builds people was 25%, basically worthless. The lost components, basic strike craft. Coil gun, afterburners. I guess we'll go with this one. But, uh, construction ship. I guess you're done with this. Look how much money we have just saved up. And I, I really need to, um... You know what? Because we have so much money, let's get another construction ship going. Oh, but we do have Corvettes. I was just not clicking on the right building because I'm dumb. Build a Corvette. And then a constructor ship. What's another good planet? Probably here would be the next logical choice. No, we still need 47, so... It will still take a little bit of time, but we'll get him going over there for now. I, I do think a 424 probably is the best. Construction complete. There you go. Keep researching stuff. So we have another, um... How about we just send, like, the main fleet home? We'll just kind of combine all the fleets into one. It should be fine. 
Construction complete. We have another constructor ship as well, which I kind of don't need. Oh, you're not even, um... Oh, you're back here. No, you, you didn't even finish this. Which is probably my own fault, obviously. But go back and build a research station. This constructor ship, you go hang out... Here, because that's probably where we're going to want to build a, the next next one. Mineral construct, but, um, okay. Oh, you're level 3 now, and we need a level 3 guy to do something here? Yeah. But which one is level 3? You're level 3, and where the hell are you? Oh, you're actually kind of close. Fantastic. Yeah, go back here and research. This has 7 minerals on it? That is pretty good. That is pretty, pretty, pretty good. So actually, once this construction ship's done there, I think we do want to just go straight up and get this, to get these minerals. I don't know. Actually, there's probably a way. There's probably like a research or something that'll expand the influence of the uh, of the outpost. Because if it just was in Nordox as well, it would be like so good. There we go. New colonies. Well, none of this actually helps us right now. Because we're not actually going to do... None of this helps with habitability. Construction. Is there just something that just gives me more stuff? Diplomacy, supremacy. I kind of just want like something that's just like 5% more minerals or something. Even though that's kind of boring. Lead a lifespan. Well, we're doing a lot of discovery stuff as well, so we might as well go in there as well, you know, get two things going at once. Even though it's probably not the best choice. It's going to be the choice I'm going to make. There we go, so that's done. One of you help with month, uh, monthly unity. I mean, that's not bad, per se. Oh, influence gain is also pretty good. Heritage sites give four unity. Trading cobs give plus two. Now, let's get this one. Planetary unification. <clears throat> and for my main planet... There's, like, uh, the main building. Yeah, okay. Biolab. Okay, so we got one of the research things. Yeah, so upgrade all of this. Upgrade to Biolab. Okay, you're the planet. How do I upgrade you? No, apparently we're not able to, which is disappointing. But we'll get our research ships a little bit better. And uh, you go survey here. You go survey into this nebula. That seems always like a good idea. This has a ton of research. You know, we're already making so many minerals right now. How about we just go... We'll probably go here. Oh, we also have 163. Do I want more minerals right now? Or do I want probably more research, right? Research station, mining stations. Okay, well, uh, constructor ship. You go here. And I want you 300. Why is that one so expensive? This one wasn't 300. Maybe it's like this, the further away it is from your borders, the more expensive it is. Yeah, because this one's 75. That has to be it. It has to be the further away it, from your borders it is, the more expensive. Because this one was 150. 75. 
Okay, so 75, 150. Yeah, three. So every single thing it is away from your main borders, it's plus 75. Okay. So that one would also be 75. This one would be one... This would be like 225. 